हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ स्वाती वागचौरे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मा कोकणसी टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर इज अ टेक्निक ऑफ ग्रोविंग प्लांट सेल टिश्यू ऑर्गन्स सीड्स और अदर प्लांट पार्ट्स इन अ स्टराईल इन्व्हायरमेंट ऑन अ न्यूट्रियन मिडियम प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर इज अ टेक्निक इन विच वी कॅन यूज द एनी सेल ऑफ द प्लांट एनी टिश्यू ऑफ द प्लांट एनी ऑर्गन ऑफ द प्लांट और एनी सीड्स ऑफ द प्लांट पार्ट इन अ स्टराईल कंडिशन इन अ स्टराईल कंडिशन मीन्स दॅट एरिया आर टोटली फ्री फ्रॉम द मायक्रो ऑर्गॅनिझम अँड वेअर दिस प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर इज ऑकर्ड और वेअर इट इज ग्रो सो दिस प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर आर बेसिकली ग्रो इन अ न्यूट्रियन मिडियम दिस न्यूट्रियन मिडियम प्रोवाईड ऑल द इसेन्शियल न्यूट्रियन्स फॉर द ग्रोथ अँड डेव्हलपमेंट फॉर दॅट सेल ऑर टिश्यू and after the uh, sufficient nutrient media or after the uh, sufficient nutrients that plant cells are grow into that me- medium what is the importance of plant tissue culture first one the production of clones of plants that produce particular good flowers fruits or have other desirable traits to quickly produce mature plants the production of multiples of plants in the absence of seeds or necessary pollinators to produce the seeds means those plant does not having a seeds so how that plants are grow so by using the plant tissue culture we can grow that seedless plant in a nutrient medium the generation the regeneration of whole plant from plant cell that have been genetically modified means we can genetically modify that specific uh, plant species then the first importance of this uh, plant tissue culture is that we can produce the clones of plants and that clones of plant produce the particular good flowers means uh, the uh, the any uh, plants which can grow from the plant tissue culture so that plants having a high quality that plants having a good flowers good fruits or uh, it showing a desirable traits so uh, by using the plant tissue culture to quickly produce the mature plants what is the importance of plant tissue culture the production of plants in a sterile containers reduce the disease transmission means uh, when we use the sterile uh, nutrient medium or when we grow the any plants in the sterile uh, sterile condition or in a sterile temperature or sterile uh, uh, aseptic condition so that time there is a less chances for the disease transmission so by using the plant tissue culture production of plants in a sterile container reduce the disease transformation process then next importance is allow production of plant from the seeds the otherwise have very low chances of germinating and growing that is orchids and the nephthings to clean particular plants of viral and other infection and to quickly multiply these plants as a clean stock for horticulture and the agriculture means we can uh, quickly produce the disease free plants or uh, we can reduce the infection uh, from the other insects into that plant because it is totally uh, totally produce or totally grow in the sterile condition or sterile aseptic condition the technologies in the plant tissue culture explant so explants means what uh, when we uh, when we select the any mother plant so uh, or when we uh, select the any plant part then next part is uh, we can select the specific plant part and in uh, into that plant part we cut that plant part uh, into smallest pieces or that smallest pieces are called as a explant so these explant are used for the further process of plant tissue culture living tissue transferred from a plant to an artificial medium for the culture so this is very living tissue explant is a very uh, small part or any organ or any uh, tissue of that specific plant parts and this living tissue is transferred into the artificial medium for the next culture then it can be any portion of the shoot leaves roots flowers or cell from a plant so explant is the a uh, portion or we can say that it is a very small parts of the plant part from any parts that is shoots from the leaves from the roots or from the flowers etc so these explant are the uh, living tissue 
that that can be obtained from the plant part any plant parts and that can be uh, transferred into the artificial medium and uh, from that artificial medium these explant can grow into the uh, whole plant how this plant tissue culture is occurred adult plant cells are totipotent meaning they have the ability to give rise to fully differentiated plant totipotency means what it is the ability of that plant or ability of that cell that uh, differentiated into the number of cells and it can fully grow up into the whole plants so this is a totipotency property because of this it is uh, possible to collect the cell from a mature plants and use those cells to produce the clones of that plants means we can collect that cell from a mature plant or from the mother plant and by using this cell we can produce the clones of that plants what is the basic concepts of plant tissue culture so first one modern plant tissue culture is performed under the aseptic condition so very important part in the plant tissue culture the aseptic condition is required for the development of the plant tissue culture or uh, any growing plant in a tissue culture by using the plant tissue culture method so aseptic condition sterilized condition means totally free from the organisms so that conditions that aseptic condition is totally controlled means the specific temperature specific environmental condition specific climatic condition is controlled into that aseptic condition so living plants material from the environment are naturally contaminated on their surface with microorganism so surface sterilization of starting material explants in a chemical solution usually alcohol and sodium or calcium hydrochloride is required when we select the mother plant we can select the any part of the plant so that time we can cut into the smallest pieces called as a explant so before starting the culture method or before uh, uh, transfer into the artificial medium that explant are sterilized why this is uh, important because after the sterilization that explant are totally free from the other dust other material or other microorganism so that reason sterilization is very important of before transferring into the artificial medium so we sterilizer is used usually for the sterilization of this explant usually alcohol uh, and sodium or calcium hydrochlorides is required for the sterilization process next one explants are uh, then usually placed on the surface of the solid culture medium but are sometimes placed directly into a liquid medium when cell suspension culture are desired so depends on the culture so uh, when we uh, explants are firstly transfer into the solid culture medium but sometime this explant directly transfer into the suspension culture method so when it is used when it is desired then culture media are generally composed of inorganic salt plus a few organic nutrients vitamins and plant hormones so the nutrients media when we transfer the any explant any cells any organ of the, the specific plant when we transfer into the any culture media called as artificial media so that artificial media provide all types of nutrient which are required or which is essential to growth and development of that specific plant part so these culture media contain inorganic salts it contain organic nutrients it also contain the vitamins uh, it also contain the plant hormones sometime we can add the antibiotic to stop the growth of other microorganisms so it this is the content of culture media then these are the composition of media for the plant tissue culture first salt mixture organic substances natural complexes inert supportive materials and growth regulator so these are the micronutrient salts for example ammonium nitrate potassium nitrate calcium chloride magnesium sulfide potassium hydrophosphate ferric and sodium ethylene diamine tetraacetate boric acid magnesium sulfate zinc sulfate potassium iodide sodium malleabdate cupric sulfate cobalt sulfide so these are all are the micronutrients so micronutrient salts for example nitrogen phosphorus potassium so what is the role of nitrogen in the nutrient media so influence the plant growth rate essential in plant nucleic acid for the dna protein chlorophylls amino acid and hormones phosphorus abundant in meristematic and fast growing tissue essential in the photosynthesis and respiration process 
पोटेशियम आर रिक्वायर्ड और नेसेसरी फॉर द सेल डिविजन मेरिस्टोमेटिक टिश्यू हेल्प इन द पाथवेज फॉर द कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्रोटीन एंड क्लोरोफिल सिंथेसिस नेक्स्ट वन कैल्शियम कैल्शियम इन्वॉल्व इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेल वॉल एंड रूट एंड लीफ डेवलपमेंट पार्टिसिपेट इन द ट्रांसलोकेशन ऑफ शुगर्स अमीनो एसिड्स टाइज ऑफ ऑक्जेलिक एसिड्स देन आयन इन्वॉल्व इन रेस्पिरेशन प्रोसेस क्लोरोफिल सिंथेसिस एंड फोटोसिंथेसिस प्रोसेस मैग्नीशियम इट इन्वॉल्व इन फोटोसिंथेसिस प्रोसेस एंड रेस्पिरेशन सिस्टम एंड एक्टिव इन अपटेक ऑफ फॉस्पेट एंड ट्रांसलोकेशन ऑफ फॉस्पेट एंड स्टार्चेस नेक्स्ट वन इज सल्फर सल्फर इज ऑल्सो अनादर माइक्रोनेट्री एंड सॉल्व विच आर रिक्वायर्ड और विच आर नेसेसरी फॉर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ नोड्यूल्स एंड क्लोरोफिल सिंथेसिस स्ट्रक्चरल कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ अमीनो एसिड्स एंड इंजाइम्स देन मैग्नीज मैग्नीज माइक्रोन्यूट्रिय आर इन्वॉल्व इन रेगुलेशन ऑफ एंजाइम्स एंड ग्रोथ हॉर्मोन्स असिस्ट इन फोटोसिंथेसिस एंड रेस्पिरेशन नेक्स्ट वन मॉल्यूबडेनम इन्वॉल्व इन एंजाइमेटिक रिडक्शन ऑफ नाइट्रेट्स टू अमोनिया असिस्ट इन कन्वर्जन ऑफ इन इनऑर्गेनिक फॉस्पेट टू द ऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म जिंक इन्वॉल्व इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्रोथ हार्मोन एंड क्लोरोफिल एक्टिव इन रेस्पिरेशन एंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट सिंथेसिस बोरॉन इन्वॉल्व इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्रोथ हार्मोन्स एंड क्लोरोफिल एक्टिव इन रेस्पिरेशन एंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट सिंथेसिस कॉपर इन्वॉल्व इन फोटोसिंथेटिक एंड रेस्पिरेशन सिस्टम असिस्ट क्लोरोफिल सिंथेसिट एंड यूज एज ए रिएक्टिव कैटलिस्ट ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर ऑक्जींस साइटोकाइनिन्स जिबरलिन्स एप्सिक एसिड ऑक्जींस आर मोस्टली द प्लांट ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ए प्लांट हार्मोन्स इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ए फाइटो हार्मोन्स सो इट इन्वॉल्व इन ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट और इट कैन रेगुलेट द प्लांट ग्रोथ सो ऑक्जीन इज द ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर इन्वॉल्व प्रेजेंट इन द रूट्स मीन्स फॉर द रूट्स डेवलपमेंट ऑक्जीन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल रेगुलेटर साइटोकाइन मोस्टली प्रेजेंट इन द शूट्स जिबरलिन फॉर द सेल इनलार्जमेंट एप्सिक एसिड प्लांट स्ट्रेट्स हार्मोन इथिलीन हार्मोन कॉम्बिनेशन so this is the overall process of uh, plant tissue culture means we select the uh, mother plant or uh, we can select the specific plant part then we cut that into the smallest pieces called as explant then these explant are sterilized by the sterilization process by using a different sterilizer then uh, these explant are transferred into the nutrient medium after the incubation these explant are converted into the callus callus is the mass of cell undifferentiated mass of cell and this callus is transferred into the new freshly liquid medium or maybe uh, transferred into the new suspension medium so these callus cells are uh, cut into the first cut into the smallest pieces and after that that single uh, cell are transferred into the uh, new fresh nutrient medium or fresh liquid medium then this callus single cell or that single cell of that specific plant are transferred into the or convert into the embryoid and then embryoid is transferred into the embryo and this embryo when we grow into the uh, fresh nutrient media so this embryo form a planet or it can form a new plant for the specific plant species so these are the applications of the plant tissue culture tissue culture has given a mechanism for propagating and genetically improving commercially valuable plants means by using a plant tissue culture we can commercially grow or we can improve the valuable plants tissue culture has been used to study characteristic of the growth metabolism reproduction physiology and nutritional necessities of the plant under the control circumstances means uh this uh, plant tissue culture totally under the control condition uh, it is control process so we can uh, characteristics uh, we can uh, we can promote the growth we can promote the metabolism reproduction rate then physiology then nutritional necessity of that specific plant
mutagens are added to single cell liquid culture for initiations of mutation embryos which normally do not survive inside seeds can be developed into tissue culture to produce a new plants so uh, those plants does not having a seeds so that plants are totally uh, develop in the plant tissue culture so seedless plant are also grow in the plant tissue culture large scale fabrication of artificial seeds through the somatic embryogenesis we can produce the plants in a large scale medium the plantlet are produced in a very short time with a lesser amount of plant tissue the production of multiples of plant in the lack of seeds or essential pollinator or the produce the seeds this is the references thank you so much for watching this video